He is known for his significant contributions to mathematics, physics, and invention. He is recognized for his pioneering work on calculating machines and mechanical calculators. He is Blaise Pascal, a French mathematician, physicist, inventor, philosopher, and Catholic writer. In the heart of 17th century France, there lived a brilliant mind named Blaise Pascal. From a young age, Pascal displayed extraordinary talent and an insatiable thirst for knowledge. Raised by his father, a tax collector, he received a comprehensive education that encompassed not only mathematics and physics, but also philosophy and theology. Pascal's genius was evident from a young age. At just 16 years old, he delved into the realm of projective geometry, producing a treatise that would leave a lasting impact on the field. His mathematical prowess extended beyond this, as he engaged in correspondence with Pierre de Fermat, contributing to the development of probability theory and even influencing the fields of economics and social science. But Pascal's brilliance was not limited to the realm of mathematics. Like his contemporary René Descartes, he made significant contributions to the natural and applied sciences. He challenged long-held beliefs, particularly in the area of fluid dynamics, refining the concepts of pressure and vacuum. His work stood against those who insisted that nature abhorred a vacuum, solidifying his place among the great scientific minds of his time. However, it was Pascal's religious experiences that would shape his legacy. In 1646, he and his sister Jacqueline became intimately involved in the Jansenist movement within Catholicism. A profound religious encounter in 1654 led Pascal to write influential works on philosophy and theology. His Lettres Provincials and Pensées would become renowned, the former exploring the conflict between Jansenists and Jesuits, and the latter presenting his famous wager for God's existence. Despite his remarkable intellect and contributions, Pascal's life was plagued by poor health. A frail constitution, worsened over time, followed him until his untimely passing at the age of 39. But his ideas and discoveries would endure, leaving an indelible mark on the realms of mathematics, science, philosophy, and theology for centuries to come. Blaise Pascal, a brilliant mathematician and philosopher, was born in Clermont-Ferrand, France, in the 17th century. At the tender age of three, he experienced the loss of his mother, Antoinette Bigon, and was raised by his father, Etienne Pascal, who was a local judge. Despite this early tragedy, Pascal's intellectual abilities began to shine through at a young age, particularly in the fields of mathematics and science. In 1631, when Pascal was just eight years old, his family moved to Paris. His father, determined to provide the best education for his gifted children, took on the responsibility of teaching them himself. Pascal's talent for mathematics was evident, and he became engrossed in studying the work of Desargues on conic sections. At the age of 16, he produced a groundbreaking treatise known as Pascal's Theorem, which demonstrated the properties of hexagons inscribed in circles. Pascal's work was so impressive that some doubted its authenticity, believing his father must have written it. However, when it was confirmed that the young Pascal was indeed the author, even renowned philosopher René Descartes acknowledged his talent. Despite the recognition, Pascal's life took a turn when his family's financial situation drastically changed. A government default caused his father's wealth to plummet, forcing them to flee Paris. Left in the care of their neighbor, Madame saint tot Pascal and his sisters faced an uncertain future. However, Pascal's sister Jacqueline's impressive performance in a play caught the attention of Cardinal Richelieu, leading to their father's pardon. Etienne was reinstated and appointed as the king's commissioner of taxes in Rouen, a city in disarray due to uprisings. In 1642, seeking to alleviate his father's taxing duties, Pascal, not yet 19, invented a mechanical calculator called Pascal's calculator or the Pascaline. This groundbreaking device, capable of addition and subtraction, laid the foundation for future developments in computing technology. Although the Pascaline did not achieve commercial success due to its complexity and high cost, it marked the beginning of a new era in computation. Blaise Pascal, a brilliant mathematician and philosopher, made significant contributions to the field of mathematics. His most influential work was the development of probability theory, which has since become essential in economics and decision-making. Pascal's collaboration with Pierre de Fermat led to the mathematical theory of probabilities, tackling problems related to gambling and the division of stakes based on each player's chance of winning. It was from this discussion that the concept of expected value was introduced. But Pascal's exploration of probability extended beyond gambling. He later used a probabilistic argument known as Pascal's wager to justify belief in God and a virtuous life. This wager suggested that it is more rational to believe in God, as the potential rewards of eternal salvation outweigh the risks of disbelief. Pascal saw mathematics as a tool to understand the uncertainties and risks we face in life, 
providing a framework for decision-making and influencing the course of future events. In addition to probability theory, Pascal's trait du triangle arithmetique, published posthumously in 1665, introduced a tabular presentation known as Pascal's triangle. This triangle, created through recursive calculations, provided a convenient way to calculate binomial coefficients. Pascal's triangle became a significant tool in mathematics and has applications in various fields, including algebra and combinatorics. However, despite his remarkable contributions to mathematics, Pascal's focus shifted in 1654 when he had a religious experience that led him to largely give up his work in mathematics. This experience propelled him towards a more spiritual path, and he began to delve into religious philosophy and theology. Pascal's exploration of the cycloid, a curve created by tracing a point on the circumference of a rolling circle, is another notable aspect of his mathematical journey. He considered various problems related to the cycloid, including its center of gravity, area, and volume. He even organized a contest to find solutions to these questions. Although the submissions were not deemed adequate, Pascal's research and the contest itself brought attention to the cycloid, leading to further advancements in its study. Blaise Pascal's contributions to mathematics and philosophy have left a lasting impact on our understanding of probability, decision-making, and the pursuit of knowledge. His work continues to inspire and guide us in navigating the uncertainties of life, urging us to consider both rationality and faith as we seek meaning and purpose. Blaise Pascal, a renowned physicist, made significant contributions to the fields of fluid mechanics and pressure. His work was so influential that the SI unit of pressure and Pascal's law were named in his honor. However, Pascal's scientific endeavors were not limited to physics alone. In his pursuit of a perpetual motion machine, he introduced a primitive form of roulette and the roulette wheel. Pascal's expertise in hydrodynamics and hydrostatics revolved around the principles of hydraulic fluids. He conducted experiments to prove that hydrostatic pressure is determined by the difference in elevation, rather than the weight of the fluid. One of his famous experiments involved attaching a thin tube to a barrel filled with water and filling the tube up to the third floor of a building. The pressure caused the barrel to leak, showcasing what later became known as Pascal's barrel experiment. In 1647, Pascal learned about Evangelista Torricelli's barometer experiments. Intrigued by the concept, Pascal questioned the force that kept mercury in the tube and the substance filling the space above it. At the time, the prevailing belief was that a plenum, or invisible matter, filled all of space, rather than a vacuum. Challenging this notion, Pascal conducted further experiments and published his findings in Experiences Nouvelles Touchant le Vide and Recit de la Grande Experience de l'Equilibre de la Curs. Through his experiments, Pascal demonstrated that a vacuum exists above the column of liquid in a barometer tube. He also concluded that air pressure decreases with altitude. Although Pascal's health prevented him from climbing the nearby Puy de Dome mountain, he reasoned that the air pressure at higher altitudes must be lower. His insights laid the foundation for understanding atmospheric pressure and its variations. Blaise Pascal's contributions to physics not only deepened our understanding of fluid mechanics and pressure but also challenged prevailing beliefs about the nature of space and air pressure. His experiments and reasoning continue to shape our understanding of these concepts today. Pascal's legacy serves as a reminder that scientific inquiry and critical thinking can unravel the mysteries of the physical world and lead to profound insights that benefit humanity. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.